FPE Discover is back in Europe and it was all about AI. Let's talk about it. Hi, it is Marcos here and this is where we discuss everything about enterprise technologies from silicon to enterprise IT mega events. Happy to see you around. Europe hasn't had a proper HPE Discover since 2018. Well, there was a Discover last year in Frankfurt, but that was not a real Discover in my books. It felt more like a test run to see if Europe is ready for a Discover, but they wouldn't have needed to do that. We've always been ready. So this year they brought Discover to the beautiful Barcelona. Not only that, but for the first time they combined HPE Discover and Aruba atmosphere, bringing even more tech enthusiasts together. In Frankfurt there were about 1,500 people, Las Vegas some 12,000 and now in Barcelona 3,000. The event was sold out and the venue was at capacity. Though I'm quite sure that number could be at least doubled, if not tripled, for the next year's event. Showcase floor reminded me a lot of the main Discover in Las Vegas and that's awesome. There was a good amount of HPE and partner boots on the floor, most of which had hardware on display. Then there was the relaxation area, or Green Lake Cafe as they called it. It was big enough so that you could always find a seat when you wanted to take a breather. Keynotes are maybe the main attractions of these events, and what I particularly liked is how they aligned the three keynotes with the three pillars of their strategy – Edge, AI and Hybrid Cloud. Day one was about Edge with Aruba CEO Phil Mutram. Day two was all about AI with HPE CEO Antonio Neri. And on day three, HPE CTO Fidel Maruso focused on AI and hybrid cloud. So day one Aruba keynote felt familiar. The structure was similar to the smaller atmosphere events they arranged during the past months all around Europe. Phil Mottram was on stage only for 25 minutes out of the two-hour keynote. The rest was more about products and demos. But then again, Aruba atmosphere is more technical, while HPE Discover is about higher-level messaging. Day 2 was the main day. And this is where things got interesting. Today, we have showcased the potential of AI we and addressed its challenges. As the most complex and today, we are world. announcing new HP services for AI. and unprecedented demands on IT. And we announced our itself. vision for an AI native cloud Even in a lighthouse foundational model called HP Green Lake for large At language level models. We, have never we imagined now live before. in a world where AI will enable us to create One of the main workloads for the next decade or more is artificial challenges. intelligence. Generative AI has democratized access Innovation to artificial is not intelligence. Just desirable, it's imperative. We must get grounded in the various stages HPE of the AI life cycle Green Lake for in file is the next generation in the evolution of AI storage solutions. The whole discover was painted in AI. Now it's not that I wasn't expecting a lot of AI. I'm sure everyone was. It's just that I wasn't expecting this much. And it all culminated in the single most anticipated session of the week, the keynote by the president and CEO of HPE, Antonio Neri. He was talking about Age of Insight, the new possibilities of generative AI, partnerships with Taiga Cloud and Nvidia. At the end, there was also a segment about the ethics of AI, which was interesting. All the announcements were also about or related to AI. Talking to people right after the keynote, there were some mixed feelings about the sole focus on AI. 
Many people still want to hear more traditional announcements. I mean, servers, storage arrays, you know, the usual geeky stuff. After all, majority of HPE customers are still owning and managing their hardware themselves. But GreenLake has been stealing more and more attention every year. It got to the point when at HP Discover 2022, there was almost no hardware on the showcase floor, and the main keynote barely mentioned anything but GreenLake. Now the hardware is back, but there is no trace of it in the keynotes. Only GreenLake has changed to AI. However, I think it was exactly the kind of keynote HPE needed to deliver. Antonio could have not, and should have not, done it in any other way. And I have four reasons why. First of all, let's remember that CEO keynotes are all about messaging. They are meant to be high-level overviews of the near future strategy. They give us an idea of how the company sees the near future challenges and opportunities, and what's their plan to address them. High level, not ground level. Secondly, from IT perspective, AI is just a new kind of workload. Focus on AI does not mean a shift automatically away from anything that HPE has been doing so far. AI is just another kind of workload. AI, like any other workloads, will run on servers. So there's going to be a demand for more servers than ever before. The whole AI is based on analyzing huge amounts of data. So the need for storage capacity is going to be crazy. Also, consumption-based IT is perfect for AI projects, since most companies simply don't have the money to invest in the infrastructure that AI requires. So focus on AI will automatically benefit all HPE's traditional business units. And third, if we look at the last four HPE fiscal quarters, GreenLake has been growing steadily. Despite of the darkening macroeconomics and declining HPE turnover, high-performance computing and AI is a bit different story. It's been growing, but the growth was in decline up until the fourth quarter. So, I don't know, maybe, just maybe, they decided to use the same Green Lake playbook on AI. You can't get the change with a small pull on the lever. You have to yank it. So focus on AI at Discover Las Vegas and AI jumped straight plus 38% on the fourth quarter. Then yank it at Discover Barcelona and boom, the market loved it. HPE stock jumped straight up right after Antonio's keynote. And finally, I think of HPE keynotes these days as a two-part speeches. First part is by the CEO Antonio Neri, and the second part is next day by the CTO Fidel Marusso. While Antonio gives the super high-level overview, Fidelma takes a bit more concrete approach to the same topics. And that's how it went down in Barcelona too. I liked Fidel Masquino a lot on the morning of day three. I liked it maybe the most of the three. While it was also all about AI, she managed to converge AI very nicely with their hybrid cloud story. World-class demos by Dennis Wilford and him flirting with the local audience didn't hurt either. Viva Barcelona! So considering all of the above, I think HPE, Antonio and Fidelma could not have done much better job with the keynotes. Bravo. And we certainly can't forget the parties. Last year in Frankfurt, we had this. And this year in Barcelona, we had this. a special Discover. Hope to see Discover back in Europe next year, but bigger. Much bigger. Thank you HPE, thank you Barcelona, and see you with the next one.